My name is Vamata. I am 17 years old. When I was in school, I had difficulty reading and writing, and I told my mom I was going to leave school. In Senegal, French is the official national language, but most people don't speak it at home. Students like Famata have to pay to go to school, where everything is taught in French even though it's unfamiliar to them. Understandably, Famata struggled with her education from the very beginning and was even less motivated when she became pregnant. Eventually, she dropped out of school. But her outlook started to change when Wycliffe began funding a literacy program in her language, Manjak. Suddenly, Famata had the opportunity to try learning again. This time, it was a free course that taught reading and writing in her own language. In one of the schools, we had this amazing young woman, Famata, who was so much better than any of the other children I interviewed at all. I, I said specifically to her, you know, you have a lot of potential, you have a lot of talent here. Famata has helped me a lot. She encouraged people in class. She was the one who encouraged people who were sometimes absent. She said, don't be discouraged. Famata was a great support. Thanks to her new skills in Manjak literacy, Famata had the courage to return to French school. Now she's ranked near the top of her class, and she aspires to be a teacher one day. Certainly she was discouraged by French school and it seems that she had a new confidence given her by the success that she achieved in, um, in the Manjak context. There she is back in school now, working and beginning to write in Manjak. Until I attended the class in Manjak, I had no thought of doing anything. They have given me knowledge and skills by teaching me to read and write in Manjak. I am taking hold of that with both hands. I was really frustrated because I wasn't even able to write my name in French. But now I can do that and I can study. Since I know how to write Manjak, I'll teach my child to read and write Manjak. Pray for my child that he would have good health and that he would be able to enjoy the richness of his language. Wycliffe funds programs like this because we believe literacy is foundational to understanding translated scripture. And we want to see the Bible accessible to all people in the language they understand best. <laughs>